Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an equation. Is that exponential? It kind of looks polynomial, but log 2 and log 5 are not non-negative integers, so this is not a polynomial either. So it's a really interesting equation. Anyways, we can try to guess and check here. That shouldn't be too hard if you are familiar with logs. So we have irrational powers of x, but we can turn them into an exponential form by using properties of logs. So let's go ahead and talk about an interesting property of logs that's not always taught in schools. And that is a to the power log b equals b to the power log a. So you might be questioning, why is this true? Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's set the first one to c, a to the power log b equals c, and d equals b to the power log a. So we're going to prove that a and d are equal. What am I going to do? I'm going to log both sides. Let's go ahead and log c, which is log a to the power log b, and log d equals log b to the power log a. By using power properties, we can go ahead and move these to the front. So log c is going to equal log b times log a, and log d is going to equal log a, again we're moving this to the front, times log b. Log b times log a is the same thing as log a times log b from the commutativity property. They just commute, right? So they're equal. Since they're equal, that implies log c equals log d, and that implies c equals d, because log function is 1 to 1. Okay, so that just proves that a to the power log b and b to the power log a are the same thing. We can just switch them around. How does that help us in our equation? Well, we have x to the power log 2 plus x to the power log 5 equals 7. So now x to the power log 2 can be written as 2 to the power log x, and the second one can be written as 5 to the power log x. And the 7 doesn't change, of course. This is nice because now we have the same exponent. That doesn't mean we can combine them or add them or multiply them, but it just makes it a little easier. So let's go ahead and replace log x with something. How about t? Okay. Log x equals t. And from here we get the following. 2 to the t plus 5 to the t equals 7. And this equation is actually very easy to solve by guessing. But one thing to keep in mind is 2 to the t plus 5 to the t is an increasing function because they are exponential functions with base greater than 1, and this is a constant. So you have an increasing function, obviously it's not shaped like that, and then it is intersected by a horizontal line, and of course there's only going to be one intersection point if our function is constantly increasing. All right, so what is the solution? Well, t equals 1, right? That should be obvious somewhat. And we only have one solution because our function is increasing one on one side and constant on the other side. And that one solution is t equals 1. Why? Because 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. It's as easy as that, right? Okay, great. But we're not looking for t. Well, maybe sometimes when we, you know, uh, especially after a meal, I think t is good. But anyways, sometimes in the morning. We're looking for x. So what's the relationship? The relationship between the t and the x is given by this. Log x is equal to t. If t is equal to 1, that implies log x is equal to 1. And by definition of logs or whatever you do, you're going to get x equals 10 from here. So the answer is 10. So does that work, really? Well, if you plugged it into the original one, you're going to get 10 to the log 2 plus 10 to the log 5, and that should equal 7. But 10 to the log 2 is 2. Again, by definition of logs or, or whatever property that you want to use, and 2 plus 5 gives you 7, actually. So this is true. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and see how this plays out. So x equals 10 is the answer. And here's our graph. Our graph 
of the function x to the log 2 plus x to the log 5. So what does that look like? First of all, when you look at a graph like this, it kind of looks like the radical. Why? Because if you had something like x to the power 1 half, its graph is going to look like this, right? It's the square root function. And it's going to be the inverse for the quadratic, y equals x squared. They're inverses. So the same thing goes here. The shape is, you know, kind of like a radical function, but obviously log 2 is not irrational. I mean, it's not rational, right? Like 1 half. It, it is irrational. And it's also less than 1. That's another factor that we need to take into consideration. If the power is greater than 1, then you're going to get something that looks like a, sort of like a parabola. But if it's less than 1, we get this shape. And these two intersect at 10, 7, which means x equals 10 is the solution. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.